My name is Dale, and this is a story about spring on the farm. I hope you like our story, because spring is my favorite time of the year. Today is my birthday. Inside the house, my brother and sister are getting ready for the party. Did you get the sign up? Yes, ma'am. Is this for me? Yes, it is, but you can't open it until this afternoon at the party. Dad is pretty busy in spring. He's getting the fields ready for planting. Grandpa's checked on Bonnie the cow. He says she's going to have a baby calf sometime this spring. Dad says that this year I can have the calf for a birthday present, but it won't be born for a while yet. Here's our mailman, Mr. Walker. He's been delivering mail to our farm as long as I can remember. Hi, Dale. There's some cards in the box for you. Is it your birthday or something? Yeah, it is. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. We live about five miles from town. When Dad drives in to get supplies, I like to go along for a ride. I've got an errand in town, too. We always buy a fertilizer and seed corn here at the mill. They sell lots of other things too, like weed killers, feed for livestock, and even garden tools. Hello, Paul. Hi, Red. Dad has known the manager, Mr. Marshall, since we were boys in school together. Well, Paul, I'm going to need some corn fertilizer for that 40-acre chunk of ground. Well, we'll take a look at your soil tests here and see what results we can come up with. Would you like us to uh, deliver this, or you want to pick it up here? No, you deliver the fertilizer. Okay. What did you have in mind for seed corn? Something that would stand the high population and high yield, 150 bushel yield. While Dad and Mr. Marshall talk business, let me show you around the mill. This is called the elevator. Not the kind you ride in, but big bins for storage. It won't be long before all the farmers around here will come into the mill to get their spring supplies. I guess spring is the busiest time of the year. While we do our errands in town, Grandpa said he makes some of his old-fashioned ice cream for the birthday party. With Steve blowing up all those balloons, Pam ought to have the decorations done before we get home. This is Whitewater, our town. We do most of our shopping here. And this is a town where I'll go to high school when I'm older. There's supposed to be a package for me at the post office. I don't get packages very often, 
I wonder if it's a birthday present from Uncle Fred in the city. He always sends us nice things. Package for Dale Markham. Hey, dear, it's a present from Uncle Fred. Okay, let's go. I guess everybody likes birthday parties, but I think they're extra good when Mom bakes one of her cakes and Grandpa fixes homemade ice cream. the time of year that we choose our summer farm project in 4-H Club. This meeting of the Greens 4-H Club will now come to order. Uh, our business at hand tonight will be uh, selecting projects for some of you younger members that have had trouble selecting your projects. I've got here a list of some of the projects that you can take. Uh, you younger boys that live on dairy farms will probably be taking the dairy project. Now, I'd like to find out what some of you members are taking this year, so I'll just call off some names and when you respond with what you're taking. Let's we'll start with Ray, with Ray. What are you taking this year? Gardening. Uh, what have you done with it so far? Well, so far I've only started planting it and putting in the walks. What what have you planted? Well, I'm starting on my radishes and um, broccoli. Uh, what do you plan to put in? What besides this? Oh, uh, some sweet corn and things like that. Okay. Uh, Donna, what are you going to be taking this year? I'm taking knitting and clothing. Uh, what will you be doing in your clothing project? Well, I've made this dress, and I'm going to make another dress for the fair. Uh, what about you, Dale? Last time I talked to you, you didn't have a project lined up. Have you got anything now? Yeah. Dad said the next um, calf that Bonnie has, that I could have it. So for a first year member, to have a heifer calf is, is a real good project. Good luck on your heifer, then. Every year, we plant a vegetable garden next to the barn. Pam's going to keep a record of the garden for 4-H. Sweet corn is one of my favorite vegetables. It's easy to plant, too. If we plant enough, we'll have fresh corn from the garden all summer long. Right now, Dad's getting ready to plant his corn in the field. Lots of people think that field corn is just the same as sweet corn, but that's not so. The corn my dad plants is mainly for cows and pigs to eat. The tractor pulls a four-row planter that not only plants seeds, but puts fertilizer in the ground at the same time. If the seeds are planted right with enough fertilizer and rain, in the next three weeks, They'll grow into beautiful green plants.
dead. I hear you're probably out in the barn. I think she's in the calf. Okay, she might be. I'll go out and check on her. Come on. Get up there. Come on. That's it. There we go. Let me take the picture. Well, that's the end of my story. But I've saved some pictures. It might help you to remember some of the things you've seen on the farm in the spring. Maybe if you look closely, you can tell your own story about a farm family in spring. <laughs>